In this video, we're going to learn a little circuit theory by using a Hall Effect switch in conjunction with a CD4027 JK flip-flop to connect to construct our own unipolar latch. Um, the idea here is to learn some electronics, a Hall Effect switch application, and hopefully have a little fun. The circuit is not difficult to build. Here is our basic block diagram of a um, Hall effect switch consisting of a Hall element, an amplifier, a Smith trigger, and an open collector output transistor where I've connected a resistor and LED. This is a more sophisticated modern version, but it does basically the same thing. When activated, the open drain FET will switch to ground. Here is our typical three pin package. Looking at it probably from the front, you have power, ground, and out. In our basic circuit here, for example, the, when, the, when the Hall effect switch is switched on, test point two goes to ground, the LED lights up, pull the magnet away, and the LED goes off. When the switch is on, it creates a path to ground for the LED. Now I've went ahead and added the previous circuit to a JK flip-flop. In this case, J and K are connected to VCC and the clock input from the uh, hall switch goes to the clock. When I put a magnet um, to the hall switch and it goes to ground and then I pull it away we got a positive we got a, a ground to positive pulse that will toggle the output Q and Q naught on the flip-flop and every time I do that it will change the state of the two output LEDs you can also set the output LEDs with the set and reset switches which if you really don't want the switches you can go ahead and connect pin 7 and 4 to ground. Again what we're doing is toggling and changing the state of the Q and Q naught outputs and that is what we're going to be seeing in our video. Alright what you're looking at here is an actual circuit. This uses the uh, CD4027 dual JK flip-flop. In our earlier circuits we were discussing for uh, use with hall sensors. This one acts as a latch, but a different kind of latch. If you look at the hall sensor on the right, it's called a hall latch. If you put the south pole near it, of course, it will come on. But to cut it off, you have to completely reverse the polarity. Somebody had emailed me and asked me, uh, would it be possible to come up with a circuit where you could actually um, use the same polarity to switch it on and off and with the CD4027 JK flip-flop uh, yes you can as we described earlier it really the 4027 is a dual unit I'm only using half the chip so you if you have a set or reset the green LED of course is set the red LED is reset. When I say set, in this case, Q is putting out 5 volts. When it's reset, Q goes to 0 and Q not puts out 5 volts. And so I could use the manual switches. Um, I don't really need them necessarily. I could probably tie them to ground. But look on the other side here, I'm going to activate the, the uh, hall sensor on the left. Now you notice an LED comes on and nothing changes. 
Remember, as I discussed earlier, the uh, clock input, which is tied to this, when we have a low to high transition, it will flip and change state. That is, set. it will go into the set condition, and if I did it again, it will go into the reset condition. The idea, of course, as long as I have the south pole up to the switch, it switches to ground, cuts on the LED, and the output to the uh, 4027 pin 3 clock is zero. Anytime it goes from zero to high, it will toggle its state between the red and green LEDs, as so. Hit it with the same polarity again. So I'm not having to fool with uh, changing polarities. Would this be useful for something? Who knows? Of course, if you know anything about JK flip-flops, if you hook the Q out to the clock in of another one, and you put them in a chain, you have a binary divider. But this is just a homemade latch. Maybe it's a circuit you can use for something, but it'll teach some electronics. And it's based entirely on the schematic that I presented earlier. So this is just another interesting little Hall Effects sensor circuit. So I hope you found this video useful. And thanks for watching, and visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.